Hey guys, so today I've come to see a city called Nesebar in the southeast of Bulgaria. The reason I've come down to see Nesebar is because this is the oldest city in Bulgaria and it is absolutely steeped in history. So straight ahead you can see the city walls and the fortress that leads you into the old town. And this is located here on the Black Sea coast. So when you first arrive here, you will see a bridge, which you can see straight ahead. And the bridge connects you to the island of the old town. And uh, it's kind of on an island. And if you go straight ahead over the bridge there, you get to the new town. So Nesabar is just steeped in history, like I say. And um, back in the fifth century, it was controlled by the Romans. And then in the 6th century, it was controlled by the Greeks. To the right side here, straight ahead, where you can see, just going straight ahead here, you can see the ferry port. And uh, that's where you get the ferry through to Sunny Beach, so you can get back home to your hotel. Because the majority of tourists coming here are staying in Sunny Beach, and they're coming here for a day trip. So the boat, the boat straight ahead, it's a lovely way to see the views of the coastline and it costs 15 lev, which is about seven pounds. Um, I think the boat takes about half an hour to go there. And uh, you can see the bridge straight ahead. And you can see a wooden windmill on the right side of the bridge. And um, on opposite the wooden windmill on the left side, you can see the statue of St. Nicholas and he's the patron saint of all sailors. Now this is where the taxis stop, those yellow taxis there. Um, they probably will ask you for about 30 lever, but remember to negotiate because you can always get a taxi home to Sunny Beach for 20 lever, and you shouldn't pay any more than 20 lever for a taxi here. Um, here is the bus opposite, the bus has stopped there to take you back to Sunny Beach, and they cost two lever, which is one pound. And at two, uh, two, sorry, 2.25 lever is one pound on today's rate, and two lever is one euro. So you get an idea of the currency. So I was just in a fish restaurant up here, and the gentleman he was telling me the history of the town, how it all started here in Nesibar. And he said to me what it was um, many, many years ago when Nesibar first was founded, it was uh, famous for being a fishing village. And um, people came, um, people came over here from countries like Turkey and Greece, and they brought textiles and all different clothes, high quality clothing from Turkey, etc., and interesting items from Greece. And they used to swap those items like an exchange and swap them for Black Sea fish. So here they, they catch most of the fish locally, so they have about 15 different types of fish uh, on the menu from the Black Sea and it's full of fish restaurants just up and down here like the one here you see straight ahead. So let's have a look at this menu here. Uh, you can get the, 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 the sprat fish for eight lever, which is just less than four pounds. You can get the gobbies for 15 lever, which is seven pounds. Uh, they're the gobbies. I love fish and seafood, so I'm gonna show you all the menus and the prices today. And you can get the sea bream for 25 lever, which is 12 pounds. It looks delicious. You can get the scorpion fish on the right side, that is directly from the Black Sea, for 10 pounds, 20 lever. And at the bottom, they've got the sea bass, which is 25 lever. That's about, about 12 pounds in English currency, maybe about 14 euros. So as you go further on down this strip, you've got all different fish restaurants up and down here. And I'm gonna show you some menus so you can compare prices. Um, here on the menu, it's got the, um, that the local soup, it's called Tarator soup, and that's five lev 50. So that's about two pound 50 in English money, about six euros. And you must try that when you come here. It's got cucumbers and garlic and walnuts and yogurt in it. It's a cold soup, but that's the thing the locals love here. And there's also a fish soup with a fish, meat and vegetables in the soup. So that costs three pound 50 or four euros here on this menu. And you must try the Shopska salad when you come here to Bulgaria. So I can see it there on the menu, the Shopska salad, and that is nine lev 60. 
So it's about four pounds 50 around about. Um, so you can convert it easily because you don't know the currency probably. Um, so first of all, I want to walk you uh, up this way, show you a few restaurants, just uh, see what it's like. Uh, it's all the tourists eating outside here. And uh, the gentleman here told me, hi mate. Hi, mate. <laughs> the majority of tourists coming here from Britain, from Ireland and from Romania and Germany. And um, he's shown me here, um, this restaurant has a lovely terrace. So I'm gonna show you the menu. I'll go and see your terrace, mate. And you walk down the alleyways here when you arrive and uh, you walk behind and you find a lovely harbor and then you get the best views. So this is what I found earlier on. If you look at this square here, it's lovely and straight ahead, you have all these different restaurants here and uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of different restaurants and cafes here in Nesibar. And I went to one today called the Fish House here. And I'm gonna show you this terrace with a lovely view. Hi, Hi. how's it going? I'm fine. What are you eating today? Hot wine. Um, mussels. Mussels. mussels, yeah, mussels, yeah. Yes. Well, the white wine is from 100 kilometers away from here. And it's um, that's the best thing because in the summertime, it's best if you have the white wine here. And in the wintertime, you should drink the red wine. That's what the waiter told me earlier on. So you must try the local Bulgarian wine when you're here. Um, today they have um, a dish with, um, it's about um, 65 leva, which is 30 pounds. And it's got all different types of seafood on a plate like prawns, calamari, octopus, that type of thing. Um, let me just, at the top left, you have all the black sea fish from the Black Sea here in Nesabar, locally caught fish. Um, we have sardines, for example, on the top left for 12 leva, that's six pounds. Um, the horse mackerel, that is 13 leva. Um, so that's six, seven pounds. What else have we got here? The scorpion fish on the right, that's also from the Black Sea and the blue fish. Uh, blue fish will be 15 lever, so it would be about seven pound 50. And the gobby fish, which is uh, smaller as well. It's really nice because they display pictures of um, all the food here. And he said they have about 15 different types of local Black Sea fish in this restaurant in the fish house. And I do recommend you try the fish soup when you're here as well. That's seven lev fifty, so it's about four pounds for a fish soup. And they have the tarama salata on the bottom right, um, just like they have in Greece. It has a lot of Greek history here as well, um, because it goes goes back to that period in the sixth century. Thanks. Bye. And Nesabar, it's the most beautiful town in the whole of Bulgaria. Um, I do recommend a visit here, especially if you're staying, staying in Sunny Beach, which is close by, or if you're staying in Sveti Vlas, uh, you must come here to see, to see Nesibar. So there's a nice terrace here in the restaurant where you can see all the fishing boats and the marina. It's taken on the 2nd of June in 2023. The weather's hot and sunny. It's about 25 degrees today. And I think that May or June is the best time of the year to visit here in Nesabar because the weather is really perfect. Um, and the hotels are 50% discounted if you come here in May or June. But when you come here in July, August, then the, uh, the hotels are very expensive in July and August in comparison. So I, I'd always come out here in May or June, or I recommend if you come out here in September. Hello, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> So there's another tight, nice terrace over here where the ladies are sitting. And um, what's the name of your restaurant? Yeah, Forest Nook. Oh, sorry? Forest Nook. Oh, and what type of food? Well, fish mostly, pork, stuff like that, meat. Yeah. Salads, everything. Unless, like, we don't have pizzas and such, but... But, yeah, it's all fresh food. Thank you, bye. Bye, bye. And that's called the Forest Nook, like she said there. You can see it on the sign. And you can get a sea view also from that one. And they have a terrace overlooking the sea. So they play Greek music here because of the Greek history. So a lot of the restaurants are playing Greek music and some of them are in a Greek style as well. 
and it's amazing that it's actually 3,000 years old Nesabar. If you're a foodie, there are plenty of places to eat here. Hello, hey, Hello. hey, hi. And if you like boats, you'll like it here. There's lots of boats here on the marina. As you go further down the marina, you can get a boat trip to Sozopol. It takes one hour on the boat. Um, it normally costs about 40 lev, which is about 20 pounds. And you could go and see the ancient town of Sozopol to see the local culture. Um, there are tourists there, but it's less touristy than Sunny Beach, for example. Um, here in Nesabar, millions and millions of tourists come here every single year. It is absolutely packed full of tourists here. And you can see the signs for the local beers um, in the window. Uh, they drink a beer called Burgasco beer. And the Burgasco is the local beer from Burgas, which is half an hour from here. Um, to get from the airport to here, there are direct buses. Uh, the bus costs you eight lever, which is um, four pounds and they go about every hour from the airport to here in Nesibar directly through. And you can get a taxi as well from there. Uh, there's plenty of taxis parked outside the airport terminal or you can organize a transfer with your, um, your airline as well. So to come here, you're flying in to an airport called Burgas Airport and you can fly in with all the budget airlines from the UK and Ireland to here as well and from Poland. Um, you can fly here from six different cities in Poland. And from the UK, you can fly from most UK airports to here with Wizz Air or Jet2. Um, Jet2 do the flights from Manchester to here, for example. And flights from London to here, like London Luton and London Gatwick. Um, they go with uh, Ryanair from here. the area where they're doing the work on all the boats. I'm just going to show you this part of the marina. And you can see all of these wooden houses here and they're typical of typical Bulgarian 19th century architecture. The streets here are cobbled, so put your trainers on, make sure you have comfortable trainers to walk around. And in May and June, you can expect about 20 degrees to 25 degrees weather. It will be sunny most days. Uh, you might get the odd rainy day, but not many at all. Um, the majority of days will be nice and sunny. The town is decorated in a beautiful way. The gardening's very nice. The flowers are nice everywhere too, like you can see. And it's very, very safe and very, very calm. Um, don't worry about crime here. There's no crime here. It's extremely safe. Um, the only thing you will find is there are some beggars on the street. They'll come over to you and they'll probably ask you for some money, but you can politely decline. There's nothing violent here. And Bulgaria is one of the oldest countries in Europe. So if you like history, uh, you're gonna love it here with the old fortress and the town is full of these old churches. Um, this town has the most number of churches per capita in the whole of Bulgaria. So you see these fascinating old churches around the town as well. You have to go up the steps here to the left side to find the churches, but they're everywhere around this town. And obviously there's millions and millions of tourists coming here. So you get your typical tourist things like there's tourist shops here on the right side. Um, offering all your typical souvenirs, your fans, you can buy um, all of your key rings. You can get yourself a Ferrari key ring, a Jaguar key ring here, for example, for about 15 lev, which is about seven pounds. Uh, they do all the children's toys. Um, you've got all the things there for the beach as well, Bulgarian flags and um, wooden made items there too, as you can see. So up above, you can see the traditional Bulgarian style houses from the 19th century. Um, they look wonderful to look at. They are really, really impressive. 
and I do like the um, the architectural st style here of the Black Sea. Um, they're typical houses of the Black Sea and that is the style that you get up and down here. So you're going to find lots of fish restaurants so if you like fish and seafood there's so many different ones that you can choose from. This one is called Taco's Place. Hello. <laughs> and you get tourists from all different countries enjoying a local beer and some food there as well. There's a beer here that's very popular in all the bars called Kamenitsa and that's uh, what they serve at most of the bars here on the tap in terms of draft beer. Uh, typically you're paying about five lev which is about £2.40 for a pint of um, for a pint of Bulgarian beer here. When you order importation beer you're going to pay a lot more than that uh, you might pay 8, 9 or 10 lev for a, an international beer. So you're paying practically double the price. So when you're here, ask for a local Bulgarian beer and you'll find you'll get yourself a very big discount, maybe 50% discount on the price. And on the right side, these are the, uh, the big boats there. They're the boats that go up to Sozopol for the day trip and various other day trips to other places. You can go out on the boat to go to Turkey. It takes about, about three hours by boat and to get from Turkey to here, because Turkey is to the south side of Bulgaria, it's about three hours in the car to the Turkish border. And you can visit wonderful cities from here like Istanbul on day trips. There's so many different day trips that you can do from here, like the Jeep Safari. Um, you can go on the quad bikes. You can go on to the typical Bulgarian village for a night out of entertainment and Bulgarian dancing and music. Uh, you just go into the offices where they sell excursions to do these. So up above, this would be a lovely place to take your dinner. They have all the restaurants here, just up above, along the marina. And you go up the steps there to get to those restaurants and they're all lined along and you will just get a lovely view. That would be a really lovely place, a romantic place to take your dinner with your partner or your family. It'd be lovely. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Later on, thank you very much. Romantic a restaurant, the man is asking me to go in. All the restaurants have a public relation standing outside and they will advertise their restaurant and they'll tell you about the offers and the prices inside and try and persuade you to go in as well. So here's all the fishing boats and all the fishermen here. And uh, they tell me that uh, most of the fish here is all caught locally, uh, here close to Nessabar and in Burgas. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And for more of my videos from Bulgaria and the best cities in EU, please subscribe at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. And if you've got any likes or uh, comments, please, please give some comments on it. And uh, please put likes on my tours as well if you like my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.